Now, so I'm going to review some of the benchmarks that I've done with the SanDisk Ultra in comparison to two other brands that I got, which is the G Skill and the Samsung Evo. And all three of these are very popular brands, so I wanted to uh, compare and contrast all of them. And you'll notice um, in the screen here, I've benchmarked this with Crystal Mark Disc Mark 3 uh, consistently on the same machine. Um, with two different formatted file systems. Uh, at the top here is the XFAT file system and at the bottom is the FAT32. And you'll notice uh, this, I'm a little bit disappointed with the SanDisk Ultra because we think of SanDisk as one of the more premium brands, uh, meaning that uh, when you buy this you, you think it's uh, the fastest and most reliable and also the uh, most expensive actually. So. Um, when I benchmark the SanDisk and compared it to the G Skill and Evo, it actually turns out to be the slowest out of the three, and there, it's uh, slower by a considerable margin, um, especially for the write speed. So for the write speed, you'll notice it's only 10 meg, 10 megs a second, whereas even for the G Skill, which we consider sort of like a second-rate uh, brand. Uh, the, it's uh, 20 megabytes, which is almost double the speed, and the Samsung Evo, uh, which doesn't have a reputation of making memory chips, uh, is 17 megabytes a second. So, you know, they're, they're a good almost twice the speed uh, compared to the uh, SanDisk. And you'll notice even with the smaller files, the others are faster, especially the Samsung Evo. So if you notice with the Samsung Evo, it actually has the best balance out of all of the, uh, out of these three, meaning that whether it's a large file, medium file, or really small files, it's uh, across the board faster than the Sam SanDisk Ultra in all four categories. Um, so and even in cases where the read speed might be the same, the write speed is considerably uh, faster, especially in this case with the FAT32. The write speed of the SanDisk is uh, 3.6 meg uh, megabytes per second, whereas uh, both the Evo and G Skill is well above nearly 10, uh, 16 megabytes and 9.6 megabytes a second. So. Um, so that's really what I wanted to say about the SanDisk, that um, in reality, uh, you know, it's, it's a little bit of hype uh, compared to uh, the reputation of the brand. Um, and perhaps, you know, looking at other brands that are well regarded, such as the Samsung and G Skill, uh, might be a thing you should uh, think about. As far as the warranties are concerned, the SanDisk is a 10 year warranty, the G Skill is a lifetime warranty. And the Samsung Evo, uh, which uh, happens to be the currently most popular brand, is a 10-year warranty also. But I, I would say this is that, um, keep in mind that 10 years from now, 64 gigabytes is probably not, uh, is, is probably at the very low end of uh, storage. You know, it's probably going to be, you know, 5, 12 gigabytes or 1 terabyte or something like that 10 years from now. So, um you know, having a 10-year warranty is probably just as good as a lifetime warranty uh, that, that the G skill has. Um, and all three of these, at some point or another, uh, you'll find it for, you know, $18 or $20. I recently bought a the uh, Samsung Evo for $18, uh, and that was with tax at Walmart. Um, and uh, this one I bought about three months ago. Uh, for one of my family phones and it was you know also at twenty dollars and so the sand disc was a little bit more expensive at twenty five dollars twenty eight dollars that I bought so um, you know but uh, even three three months later it's uh, considerably cheaper so uh, you know keep keep an eye out for the sales uh, but that's really all I went to, wanted to mention about the performance here is that um, you know don't don't get caught up too much in the brand names as, as long as it's a top tier brand uh, definitely go by the benchmarks and not by the name and uh, you know hope this helps and uh, thank you for watching